Hello and welcome to another episode of Viking Conquest Blood Eagle Campaign. Now I have some exciting news. Uh, we just received a brand new hotfix for the shield bug as well as some other changes to the game. In fact, uh, one of the mod co-authors, Hootman, uh, contacted me and informed me about the patch and that the shield bug is now fixed as well as some other changes. Uh, he said, for example, that it will now be possible to capture ships more often during uh, battles on the sea. So we are definitely looking forward to that. And secondly, they changed something in uh, the village raid mechanic. Basically, there will be some higher troops spawning in. So we will definitely want to try that out right away. Because, after all, we have a quest to provoke Mumain. And we can do that either by raiding a caravan or raiding a village and thus we didn't encounter a caravan I dare say we simply go for this village and check out what's going to happen so we're going to take a hostile action we are going for f let's go for full assault uh, basically loot and burn a village some of the angry villagers grab the tools and prepare to resist you it looks like you'll have to fight on your hands if you continue well let's charge them that's exactly what we want to do and let's actually form a shield wall because i have no idea what hoopman has in store and we're not attacking with a full force so this is going to be interesting Everybody stay together. Well, so far I do not see any other troops except the normal ones and the farmers. We're actually going to charge in now. What a love buff! Okay, so far I didn't see any higher level characters. Interesting. Nope. Those were all farmers. Hmm. I wonder if that script is safe and compatible. It should be. I simply replaced. There were just some text files replaced. So they should load if they're installed properly, of course. Well, I have to check that after, after this episode, but I'm pretty sure I did nothing wrong there. We may also uh, want to Try it again by attacking the second village and see if that works. Well, let's take care of this last dude here. Right. I think we can leave the village alone for now because we already succeeded the quest uh, I'm not too keen to waste too much time here because uh, after all we're in the heartland of Mumain and we may run into some trouble if we stay too long and our party size is not that big yet so the risk reward relation is not in our favor Oh, Brunel, perhaps it's not my place to say so, sir, but I confess that I am somewhat shocked that we attack innocent people. Of course, I realize that war is cruel, but there is no need to make it more cruel than necessary. Your objection is noted, and I'll fa fall back into the line. It's not something I would uh, do often unless I have a specific reason to do so, because, yeah, it's not really worth our time. Unless we need food, or we have a specific grudge against somebody. Or we really try to weaken the kingdom. So we have a strategic reason to do so. But otherwise it's really not worth our time. 
we have bigger fish to fry, much bigger fish to fry. So, um, what can we do next? We basically have completed our quest here. We have found the English Lord, as we were supposed to do, and delivered the message. Uh, we delivered the first to Dublin. So, basically, our tasks in Ireland are completed and we will continue we will continue on our travels because we still have one more pending quest. We have to save a girl somewhere. Oh, and we're getting attacked by bandits. Nasty bandits indeed. As you can see, we make quick work of them. Not much as of a fuss to talk about. Let's check out the meat hall real quick. There's another wandering bar. Do we have actually have someone to sell? No, actually, no, we don't have anyone. Uh, what about the wandering bar? Can you teach me any poems? Yeah, and he always said again. We already know all of them. I'm not sure if he's just trying to tell us, well, I teach you everything or if it generally means you learn, you learn everything. So I'm not quite certain about that. Now let's sail from the port. Well, yeah, inventory is clear. We actually, yeah, we have enough food. It's just a little uh, messy. There's sadly no auto uh, organized inventory. So let's continue. We have, a, we have several things to do now. First, uh, we want to go and ransom a girl from bandits uh, in Bebenham. Bebenham is basically close with Bebenboro, uh, which is a uh, kingdom of Northumbria, so northern England. Thus, we take the northern route, not the southern one. Second reason for do to do so is uh, we want to actually establish a couple more trade enterprises or farmsteads. Uh, and we can do that, for example, in Edinburgh and Bebenborough. So that's basically something we wanted to go there anyways. By the way, do we? Yeah, we do have enough money. We have 40,000 Penningas cash. That's enough. So we're perfectly fine to do so. And of course, if you run into a caravan, we want to raid, we can do so. I'm not quite sure. Are we hostile to Wessex? Not yet. We hold on off for Wessex because they have... Do they? Yeah, they have London Bridge, right? They still have... E... No, they Mercia is London Bridge. Huh. So why the hell would I care about relations with Wessex? Well, I, I do not, sir. Not, not in the slightest. Hey, friend. Oh, well, let's first, let's ask about the bandits we're hunting. I mean, I know where they are, around the Adler White, of course, but maybe they have seen them. No, Rolf fuller Bruggen's friend, but the name in particular doesn't sound familiar. Go to hunting and nothing less. Well, in that case, I demand something from you. Hand over your gold and valuables. Of course I'm rubbing you. <laughs> All your loot belongs to me now. So, let's advance to our enemies. In this particular battle, I dare say we, we should go uh, sandwich the right ship. That seemed to be the appropriate move. As far as I can tell, the bulk of their forces on the right ship. So this is where we are heading. Although our comrades or companions on the right side are a little bit faster than we are. Possibly because I keep steering left and right. But I try to get the angle as best as possible. That should work. They should smash into them. I hope. Or maybe not. <laughs> Damn it. What are you doing, guys? Where are you going? Go back. Go back. Oh, and by the way, there we can see. Yes, the shield bug is, is no more. The shield bug is no more. We can see our beautiful new sigil on the shields of our men. Sadly, <laughs> we skipped the battle. And we lost a couple of men in the process. Well, what a pity. What a pity. What a pity indeed. Oh, 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 that's a quite losses there. 
Damn it, you! Damn it, stop killing my men! Quite strange, and yeah, now the draw is in. After we lost like 10 men or something. Well, I got at least one with the spear. Ah. Bloody hell! That was a costly victory. Lost like ten men in the process because I screwed up with the with the sailing. Ten men, yeah, that sucked. But we captured a carvey. Do we want to add it to the fleet or leave it behind? Mm, we could add it and then dump it. We shared a loot. How is it common? Because yeah, that's okay. They can keep. The rest, unless there is a good shield. We may want to keep the uh, big hand axes. They're actually not that bad. And maybe a, a pair of gloves. Uh, the car we could drop off. I think we're still cool with Altklut. Because um, I usually try to stay friendly with the port nations as long as possible. Because we need to be able to sell stuff. Uh, in the long run, of course, uh, we will... Take care of business, and who is this? You will change against us, surrender now or we'll kill you all. Well, you fight it to the end. They dare to attack us because now we lost a couple of men. But they have no idea who they are dealing with. So we gladly accept battle. And we definitely need to get ourselves a, a sigil shield now that the bug is fixed. Definitely a new task for us. Now let's scare them a bit. You are doomed. Charge. Wish we had a skate. Boarding is... No, no. God damn it. Don't push me off the ship. Damn you! I was just about to charge. The thing is, uh, aboard these ships, it's pr practically impossible to move. That's why we're going to get a bigger ship. One of the reasons, of course, because uh, there's another reason. Because having men uh, packed on one ship is always a huge advantage. And secondly, we can move, actually uh, be better at boarding. Next time, I will try to actually use... Um, or boarding ability on these ships, but as far as I remember, always had a hard time. Either way, we take, we make our men make quick work of them, and we can actually take a close look at our sigil shield. Well, somewhat close look because this guy is a little concealed here. There he is. Nice. All right, and we add another ship, a snake at this time. Yeah, nice. So that is working. Uh, I definitely did not uh, make a mistake <laughs> in starting the mod, uh, uh, the update for the mod, because that part is working. We now had two battles and we captured two ships. He said like, the, 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 um, the chance is like 70% now, which is awesome and uh, perfectly realistic. It always bothered me that you encounter so many uh, ba uh, ships in battles later on, especially if you fight a lord, for example, who has like two, two or three boosters or so the big warships and you don't get a single one. I mean, that's not realistic, right? It's perfectly fine that you assume that most of them were damaged or they sink or they burn, but at least something should be captured. And now we got two more ships. We're going to sell both of them because we want to have a big ship, not a small one. So that's a flagship. That's our snake at snake gum. That's the carry. Wow, look at that. That's actually not a half bad ship, but it's not as fast. It has more capacity though. Quite nice ship, but it's too slow. So we're going to sell it. And then we go to see the ships again and go for our third uh, snaker, which we're going to sell as well. And we made quite a bit of money there. And now we're going to sell all this nice juicy loot. We, oh, look at that, a banner, nice. Oh, with our beautiful banner, very, very nice. 
Cool, cool, I like that. Oh, oh, a painted round shield. Nice. It's a smaller one, although it's a faster one. So we're definitely going to keep that. No question about that. And what was that? Ooh, brilliant. Mm, not bad. What we have we have better stuff. So I'm going to no wait, 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 wait. I'm keeping the gloves for now. I don't want to check that right now. I usually gather up some loot, you know, a couple of items, and then I go through in, in one big process. We have so much inventory space, it's not a problem really. And I also sorted out a couple of items already, so we're fine. We're perfectly fine. We can actually sell the ale. We don't need that. Perfect. Made a ton of money. Um, do we want to... Altklut. Are we going to be hostile to Altklut anytime soon? I wonder. Let's uh, stroll through the town real quick if, we, if I find the uh, mayor. That's actually a pretty awesome town from, from a defensive value. Pretty sick. Ooh, a weaponsmith. Ooh, a name weaponsmith. We could also ask him if he has some, some nice stuff. Good day, what can I do for you? I'm looking for weapons, but I need something more special. Sorry, friend, my art is for men of fame only. Come back when you are made your name yourself. 609, okay, so apparently either they increased it or we are not as, as cool or as badass as I thought we are. Uh, 600 is quite a lot. Maybe they changed it in the Blood Eagle mod. Because 600, I need to check some, we're going to check some lords real quick after, after we leave the city. Because 600 is, is quite a lot right now. Mato set? No, I don't want to go to the Mato set. Uh, let's, yeah, we can't go, let's go for the meat hall and then leave the meat hall. We don't need archers, do we? Well, how many do they have? Hey, what do you want? We're drinking. You seem some. As you seem somebody strong and accustomed to hot life. I'm interested in recruiting you. We are traveling through these lands. We might consider this thing if you hire us, uh, me and eight of my mates. Well, let's hire them because I've never hired Finnish archers in this mod. In general, archers uh, in Viking Conquest are not that great, but with one exception. Um, Irish archers, they have like over 200 archery skill, which is pretty high for this mod. And there is the mayor. Hello, stranger. You seem to be new to Dunbarellum. I'm the mayor of the town. Do you happen to have a job for me? Well, you look able enough. I think I might have something you could do. We have some fighting in town lately. Uh, deal with some blah, 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 meh. I'm sorry, that's beneath me. Well, the job will be able for you a few more days, I guess. Tell me you decide to take it. That's basically a very basic uh, starter quest. I'm not really looking into it. I wish to buy a farmstead, though. Very good, sir. We need to know and trust you and think you could find someone to sell land you need. Indeed, that's nice. Um, so let's see. An ale, 636, not bad. Let's check out the Foundry, 640. Mm, weavery, 400. And another Weavery. Yeah, that's not very economical. So I think the Brewery is 14.5. What was the investment in the Foundry, 16.5. I'm just thinking about it because the thing is, um, we can, of course, support um, a foundry way better than we can support um, a brewery because brewery stuff is very cheap to buy. So um, if we could gather up some iron and bring it to them, it would be pretty awesome. And the thing is, we already have a farmstead in Dublin, which takes wool, so we should build this one here. And then we could make a trade run and basically buy up or loot up all the iron and wool we can get and then drop it off to these guys. That's the, the, the theory behind it. Oh, and look at that, a large band of thieves. Should we get them? I mean, yeah, they don't have much loot. It's, it's, it's more like a, a training session. But we can 
basically uh, attack anybody we run into uh, except lo large lords parties. Now let's check out the stats on this Finnish archers. Archers, tell me about yourself. Ooh yeah, 260 archery. Okay, I take everything back. They have the highest archery skill in the mod, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's see, where do we see the troop tree here? And uh, let's compare it to Norse archers, 120, right? That's pretty bad. Now let's go for the Irish marksman, uh, 210, 210. And let's go for the, um, I think then the, the Britons are the second best. 160. See, that's a huge difference. So uh, the Irish have 210 and these guys, the Finnish archers, 260. So they have 50 points more skill. That's, that's quite a lot. I know in, in some mods, uh, like Prophecy of Pandor, they give the troops like superior skills. If I remember correctly, I mean, I haven't played Prophecy of Pandor in ages, but I remember running into people like level 40 uh, characters and stuff like that. And they had like 300, 350 or more skill points. I mean, they are like, like ma maxed out crazy, like crazy dudes, like elite J2 warlords or something like that. But that's not the case here. So here, Having 260 skill means they are top elite starters, basically. Which is nice, because we can recruit these guys. They're not cheap. Uh, what is actually the upkeep for these guys? That's a good question. 46, yeah, that's pretty high. Compared to the Germanic mercenaries, they cost 22 and they cost 46. That's a lot. And look, the Swedish mercenaries are also 22. Why are you so expensive? Dudes, I mean they're level 24, but what are the Swedish mercenaries, for example? 18, meh, okay, well, still think they're expensive, but they're also very good. Definitely want to uh, make use of these guys. If we could recruit like 50 of these guys, uh, they would be quite devastating in a field battle. Not so much in a naval battle, because they get squashed against the wall, of course, in melee combat. Right? And, and sea battles are everything about melee combat. You can use spears properly and kill a lot of men in the first skirmish before the boats engage, but after that it's melee only. In a large field battle, however, if you have like 50 archers and can outflank the enemy, oh, they can be quite devastating. And with that skill, I expect them to be quite deadly. Thing is, though, if you want large numbers, it would be probably easier to recruit Irishmen uh, and then train them up and then basically use them for archers. We could do, actually do that. We could do that if we wanted to. Because our best archers are like 120. That is crap, basically. I wouldn't even bother recruiting archers with that skill. Seriously, not worth it. I'd rather, rather have more heavy infantry or have uh, light infantry and basically use them as a meat shield or, or like... Uh, Roman ta Roman battle tactics, like they used Hasati and Principes and Triari, different types of, of infantry and mix them together and use them for different purposes. That's what we could do basically, like have a light infantry that skirmishes and then charges the flank and heavy infantry, which is basically the shock unit. And then we could have some super heavy shock troops uh, mixed with companions that basically uh, Ulfadins and, and Berserkers that we use for, for attacking the rear of the enemy, for example. We can do some funny stuff, really, once we have larger parties. Right now, we are, yeah, just a small warband, right? But we're working in it. We're working on it. Now, for now, we're going to continue our travel all the way around off the northern coast of England. It's a pretty long, pretty long journey. Pretty, uh, not much to do here uh, unless we run into caravans. Although most seem to take the southern road as far as I'm uh, aware of, right? But we're all almost there. We are already heading back south again around the coast of Scotland. And we definitely want to head for Edinburgh and Bebenborough as we have, let's see, well, how much time do we have for the quest? The problem is we're running out of time, right? Um, six days. Yeah, we will work because we have to be back at Dunwich in six days. So that's going to work. 
Uh, what we're trying to say is, yeah, right, we are going to establish at least two more enterprises. Uh, yeah, we can barely afford that. We should probably run into another caravan just to be certain that we can afford it. And then we have, I think, four or five uh, established, which will basically improve our income. It's basically like, like an investment you make, and so we have a little bit of a support. The thing is, in, a, in, the, in the story campaign, there are some episodes that take quite a lot of time and preparation, and thus you will, won't have the time to you know, hunt down as many merchants or lords as, as you like, because you have occupied with other stuff. Thus, uh, having enterprises keeps a lot of trouble from your back. Now we're almost at the king of Umbria. We're already reaching the border, the king of Alban, which are hostile to us because the Scots need to be punished. We don't like the Scots, although they have an harbor. But we have Edinburgh here, so that's perfectly fine. That's where we're heading to establish another another farmstead. Let's head for the meat hall first. Let's see who's there. Ah, retired captain. And who are you? A ransom broker. Okay, retired captain. Uh, we don't need that one. Ah, the shield looks awesome. Ah, damn it. Nice. Okay, so let's head to the town center. Mm, I'm not sure where is where could the mayor be in Edinburgh. There's a church. Definitely not there. I think he is in the harbor, if I remember correctly. I definitely think he is in the harbor. Is he? Well, there are two dudes standing over there, so we're definitely heading for that direction. We could also visit the, the smith. I think there is a name smith here as well. Let's see what the armor has. Well, that helmet is actually reinforced thick. Damn, that helmet is actually better than ours, and I spent a lot of money improving that one. Damn you. Well, I'm not going to change it for one hit point, right? That's kind of that's crazy. But we definitely want to check it out. See what else we can find. Oh, another painted shield. Nice. I definitely want to take that and give it to one of our companions. Large bag of throwing spears, meh, we don't need that. We're fine, but I'm definitely um, trying to at least get a second shield because one, one tactic we could also use is basically use one shield for our back and use one in the front. So we will have two shields in total that will prevent uh, some damage if you're hit from the back. Now that's a ship ride and the old sea captain, so ho! Ah yeah, there, there, there is the, um, the middle set. He's at the middle set, right ahead, on the hilltop. That's where he is, now I remember. Now we cannot pass through here, so I think, yeah, we have to walk all the way around. Oh, we can go to the... Mm, Wizard Lord's Hall, right, perfect, that's a shortcut. Can always go this way and then we go out of here and now we should standing right in front of him there he is hello stranger you assume newbie in rubero i'm the mayor of the town i wish you buy a farmstead very good sir we in the town know you trust you and think you could find someone to sell you a land you need all right now let's see what we can do with the flex oh that's not very economical what about the weavery oh that's nice 767 Sure, here's the money for the farmstead. Perfect. So we have your second weavery, basically. Oh, and let's ask him. Let's ask him real quick for a task. It's never, never, no harm in it. Do we have any job for me? Uh, a loot, possession, stolen. I'm sorry, but no, we don't have time for that right now. That's that's really that's one of these, ah, uh, yeah, annoying stuff to do. We can do it. But I'm not desperate, that desperate to increase the relations with Edinburgh to do it. So, we are going to continue. Oh, 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 oh we could actually go. Uh, they are running away from us. Uh, lots of Vikings here. Should we, should we try to challenge them? Why we not? We're going to end the episode with a lot of encounter when actually receiving help. 
Interestingly enough, NPCs use our banner as well. I'm not quite certain if it's only the case if they're on our side or if it's just random that the custom banner is basically spread out to other ships as well. I'm not sure, but either way, it looks badass. Now let's charge at these Vikings. This time I'm not messing it up. I'm rowing right into them. I don't care. Maybe catch some spears. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. We go in for Bra No, no, not again. Yeah, that's the problem. We definitely need to go more to the center. Definitely need to go more to the center of the ship before I charge in. It's always, always this this little edge, and and then suddenly you you tip over and you're yeah basically <laughs> at the bottom of the sea. Ah well, at least we take good care of them. And where are our archers, by the way? You see any archers? Oh, I can't see them. Strange. Strange indeed. Well, nevertheless, we've taken care of these guys. In the next episode, we're going to continue our travels, rescue the girl from these bandits, establish a new enterprise, and then we continue on doing some mischiefs in the sea and continue the story. Thanks for watching and hope you like and enjoy it. If you do so, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay updated to the series. Thanks for watching and see you soon.